Think of the smartest person you know, what is the dumbest thing they've ever done? My one college professor had a double doctorate, several masters, and was literally was the head of the national magazine for his field and had a lot of respect in the science community. He didn't know electric eels were real. Like he argued with us. While applying for a job, he thought sick pay meant that the job paid really well. I don't know if he's necessarily the smartest person I know but I know a pretty smart astrophysicist who pointed out a star to us which was in fact a plane. My brother's friend was high school valedictorian. In college, he gathered up deer turds to play a practical joke on his roommate by putting said deer turds into a box of Cocoa Puff cereal. Two days later he forgets about the deer turds and goes to pour himself a bowl of Cocoa Puffs. Instead of nice, sugary cereal, he gets a spoonful of deer turds. My colleague was tasked to put mail into the mailbox. She asked me where it is and what it looks like. Around the corner, and it's a red box turns out, there is another red box marked general waste about two meters away, is the red box that spells out Australia Post she's been throwing away mail. I lived in Colorado Springs. My friend came into town and was booked into a hotel. I called and asked for the name or address of the hotel and he told me he did not know, but he could see the mountains from where he was. He narrowed his location down to a time zone. My brother has PhDs in bioengineering. We were on a call one day and he was saying, I can't find my phone. Probably my kids took it. Didn't realize until I told him that he was using his phone to talk to me. My dad. He had one of his ears pierced when he was in college. He went to a party wearing an earring. A girl started talking to him and decided to give him one of her earrings, but he didn't want to take his earring out, so he stabbed her earring through his unpierced earlobe. This man is now an engineer. I was picking up my date, future wife, when her valedictorian roommate turned quickly away from the TV and said in all seriousness, don't look, they're welding. It will damage tour eyes. She got more serious as I continued to look back and forth at the TV in her. She actually yelled, it's going to blind you. I then asked her, so when your TV is showing an image of the sun? That's as far as I got. You could see the wave of embarrassment wash over her face, she immediately started laugh, crying and begged me not to tell anyone. Tried jumping over a pallet of boxes with their arms tied behind their back. Split lip open. My buddy who is now a brilliant emergency medicine doctor at one point while sledding bed he could jump off his moving sled over a flat bench, and land on the sled. While moving, he realized he couldn't position to jump and crashed ribcage into the bench. Dumbest genius I have ever met. I graduated with someone who got a perfect SAT score, but managed to cut off two fingers in shop class while trying to make a birdhouse. My late father was a particle physicist. He understood things that I think I'm not being hyperbolic here. Only about 3,000, 5,000 people understand. He was on a team that worked on the calculation of the mass of the Higgs boson, his team got it wrong. In addition to being a particle physicist, he was also an avid student of history and completed two bachelor's degrees at MIT, one in physics, one in history. Mind you, that's not a double major, but two degrees in four years. Anyway, that guy got done in by a two-bit con job at an ATM in the late 90s. They wrote him a bum check for $200 or something and he gave them cash. The owner of the company I work for is one of the most intelligent people I have ever met. If you know someone who has had a hip replacement odds are he is the one that engineered it. He owns something like 15 to 20 patents on products he has designed. He has created company after company and sold them after sweeping through whatever market. He does have some blind spots. One day he came to me and asked what side of the envelope the stamp goes on. He had never mailed anything before because his mom and then wife took care of everything for him. I have a remarkably intelligent, talented, and sensitive friend. He's well educated, an accomplished musician, very knowledgeable about practical stuff like car repairs and investments and plumbing and programming and carpentry and cooking. He is a very, very hard worker, exercises and eats properly has probably never been more than five pounds over his ideal weight. He is in his mid-sixties. He started smoking cigarettes and cigars when he was about 50. Did the whole thing of practicing in front of a mirror. He smokes once or maybe twice a day, with a drink in the evening. But who the beep starts smoking at 50? 
My husband. He's a mathematician for the feds, but he has repeatedly gotten us to the wrong airport in cities that have more than one. Like at least three times. He's brilliant, but a moron. My aunt, college professor, PhD in mathematics, was blown away when watching my father cook rice without a rice cooker. I had a buddy in school for mechanical engineering. Very bright, but a little on the cocky side. He ended up moving to DFWTX area, ended up getting on meth, losing his job, then into selling it, then stealing high dollar bicycles at the nearby college campus. Ends up getting caught with felony theft and meth distribution. Now he's on felony probation for 10 years and lost his college scholarship. Got married due to family pressure. Super talented scientific mind. Had 70 plus publications before getting married. Now admits that his pace has not only slowed down but wife is edging him to change profession because scientific research doesn't pay as per her expectations. I'm from Australia and I have a super intelligent cousin who ultimately went on to get a PhD at a very prestigious university in the US in physics. He also lectured at the same university for a few years. When he and I were 10 our families were staying at our grandparents' house. My mother and I witnessed him trying to get a piece of toast stuck in an electric toaster with a metal fork. She stopped him but I was amazed. My friend M is really good at math. She literally minored in it for fun. One day, we were walking along, and she said guys, I saw something on Facebook this morning, we're only 81 years from the year 3000. This was in 2019. I thought she was making fun of the silly Facebook people. Then she said isn't that crazy? And then I realized that my friend who enjoyed calculus, genuinely thought that 2019 plus 81 equals 3000. I had to break it to her gently. I will never let her live it down. My older brother was the high school valedictorian and decided to cut an apple with a large knife while holding it in his hand. He has a lovely scar from it. I did my undergrad with a guy who got an almost perfect score on his MCAT but also ate a raw chicken breast because he thought it was a really bad hot pocket, he was sober at it. For all those asking it was one of those individually packaged breaded and stuffed chicken breasts that was frozen. He thought it was an off-brand hot pocket, microwaved it for a minute or however long you usually cook a hot pocket for and chowed down. He ate it so fast he didn't really question why it was so slimy, or you know, still frozen. Another time, when he was in early high school, maybe 14 years old, his mom was making his lunch and feeding the cat at the same time, she worked three jobs and is a real-life angel, and mixed up the cat food with the can of tuna for his tuna salad sandwich. So he has also eaten a cat food sandwich. He figured that one out after the fact but was too polite to say anything to his very tired mom. He's a surgeon now. Went on vacation together to Florence and went to one of the best pizzerias in the city, so like big all-time great pizza experience time. There was a huge line and we waited forever. We see the menu outside the building as we're approaching the front. He says he's gonna get a calzone pizza. I said that's probably just a calzone. He tells me that this is just how they probably do it here in Italy. It'll be pizza, just calzone style. Our order comes up. I had the best pizza I have ever eaten. He ate a plain calzone. We still laugh about it. One time I was at my friend Claudio's apartment with his brother just hanging out and watching a movie. All of a sudden I hear a whoosh and see a big flash of light. I look over at Claude and his hair is on fire. We get it out quickly and I asked him what the hell just happened. He told me, I was trying to listen to the sound the lighter made when I flicked it. We were completely sober at the time. No joke, poured gasoline on a campfire. I know a surgeon who thought Q was making accurate predictions and didn't check to see if tweets predicting things were fake and backdated. He hasn't mentioned them once since the insurrection. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to subscribe to Upvote for the best quality content every day.